Good morning, guys. No price. No price, no price. The dogs have joined us. They've actually been really good and slept in their beds all night and they've just hopped up now. Oh, but this is our lovely view this morning. Ava, get off. This is our lovely view. Hello, Finn. Yeah, I'll give you an update once we're fully awake. I don't even know what time it is, guys, because I don't have my phone. Keegan has a meeting. It's like, I think it's about 7.30, actually. For his clients, uh, he does a call on a Tuesday morning, like, really early. So he's hotspotting from my phone, taking it from the lockbox. So, but I'm, I still haven't looked at my phone, which I'm really pleased about. Anyway, this eye mask, you might remember, you might have seen the vlog where I bought this. I love it. It's embroidered with giraffes, which are my favorite animal, and I just really love it. It's made of like velvet. I will link it down below. This is not sponsored, but I just know that I like recommending things to you guys that I like. I bought it for because I like giraffes, and then I didn't use it because I was like, I don't want to use it, it's too nice. But oh my gosh, it's really, really nice. How did I sleep? Oh. Well, I could have slept longer, Annoyingly, Keegan had to get up to do this call, so, and as soon as Keegan got up, he was like, as soon as I've done this call, I'm going back to bed. I feel like he'll be wide awake once he's done this, though, so he probably won't, but yeah, I slept really, really well. You know what? These blackout blinds are very, very blackout. <laughs> For the last couple of hours, I kept waking up because the dogs started stirring and then they asked to go out so I let them out for a wee that must have been at about 6 a.m. or something but as I got up I was like it's still dark outside it must be before 4 a.m. but as soon as I opened the door it was flooded with light in here and I was like oh my gosh it's these blackout blinds are doing a great job very very nice I don't know what the plans are for today so while Keegan's doing this call I would normally play on my phone but I'm not gonna do that so I might read a book. I guess that's all I, all I have to do. I'm sorry, but isn't this like the dream for every introvert to just caught, curl up with a book in bed in the middle of the forest? This is so cool. So Keegan is making us a coffee. He's grinding the coffee beans right now. Joel's grinding my gears. That is not true. <laughs> so on the packing list, Unplugged said, if you want a quick coffee in the morning, if you need a coffee instantly, bring coffee. If not, if you're happy to go with the slow living, they were like, we provide coffee beans, a manual coffee grinder, a drip that's, coffee that's thingy. Me. That, that's me, I'm the manual coffee grinder. He's the manual coffee grinder. They, he doesn't come with each cabin, he's just mine. So Keegan is currently boiling. I mean, I'm not gonna show you because everything's a mess in here. I really wanna tidy up. There's actually plenty of storage, for example, at the foot of the bed, again, messy clothes. However, under here, if I move all this, the storage under here, which we haven't utilized, same there. So I think we just need to have a tidy up, but right at the moment, I'm embarrassed to show you the cabin because yeah, we'll there's just we'll stuff everywhere. We'll have a tidy up. Give us a minute. Give us a minute, guys. And yeah, we'll make this coffee. Oh, it's, it's ready. What, the water? Yeah. I've seen like hipster coffee people in, in Shoreditch in London do this sort of thing. The dogs are being very cute, just watching the coffee being made. Right, we're ready for breakfast. We're ready for our breakfast. Ava, you didn't have dinner last night, so you're hungry tonight, uh, this morning. <laughs> Keegan just went, I actually think it'd be really cool to have one of these at home. And I went, what, a cabin like this in the garden? And he went, no, a coffee grinder. This is my new thing now, a grinder. He loves grinding coffee. Um, the only downside I've noticed, I can't pick up this mug because it's made of metal, it's all enamel metal, and it's too hot, even the handle's enamel, and it's hard to pick up, I can't pick it up. It's just too hot. Right, we've gotten ready, and uh, we're just gonna take the dogs for a walk. We've seen that there's a little coffee shop, a little walkway or cafe, and so we're gonna walk and get a coffee from there, I think. Yeah, it's a lovely day today, I hope it stays nice. All that we have planned for today, really, is that we're gonna head to the gym, hence why we're in our gym kit, which I know some of you will be like, if I was off grid, I wouldn't wanna go to the gym, but it's a priority for us, so we're gonna uh, jump in the car and we have uh, access to a gym that is like eight miles away or something, so we're gonna do that. We're meeting our friends for, for dinner tonight, but that's all we have on, so yeah, it's gonna be nice and chill. Do some journaling. Journaling, I might reading. give some praise away. Praise? I don't get that. Joel said this morning that I'm very sparing with praise. 
Oh yeah, he's just unimpressed by everything. And like, he was like, it rained last night. And I was like, oh my gosh, it was so cozy hearing the rain on the thing. And he was like, what? You love everything about this cabin. And I was like, well, yeah, I just like everything about everything. I find the good in everything. Mostly. <laughs> Maybe not. I, I'm just very sparing with my prayers. So when I love something like, or someone, then you know it's... You know you mean it. Yeah. Okay. There's a ford down here, guys, and I was like, how are we going to get across that? Keegan's going to have to carry me, because he's wearing Crocs. They're lined Crocs. That is true. There we go. So if anyone doesn't know, a ford is a river that crosses a road, so you drive through that. I've never used one of these before, guys. Let's go for medium, a white Americano. Basically, the tea room we we're going to go to is only open from Wednesday, and it's Tuesday today, so we know that there's a little Costa machine in uh, in the local petrol station, so we've gone for that. I mean, I love Costa, so I don't mind, but but weirdly, it was called the Lavender Tea Rooms, and yesterday I recommended to Keegan, I was like, we need to go to this place called the Lavender Tea Rooms. I've been there with my parents. You walk through a field of lavender, they make lavender-flavored scones and everything, and it's amazing. And that was the tea room that's right around the corner, so we will definitely go there tomorrow, but not today. We're back from our little trip to the gym. I had a little mishap, because at my gym, you put in your code and then the door opens, you go in into a pod and it lets you out the other side. It's a very secure way to do it. I realized I don't know my code because I usually use my app on my phone to scan the barcode instead of typing the code. And so I had no way to get in. So they nearly didn't let me in. And then they were like, okay, this once will let you in. And I was like, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. See, this is where my strange disposition for learning numbers comes in because I know my You cars. know yours off by heart, sorry, just need uh, to just, twist around. Just like I also know my national insurance number off by heart. Well, I know, my, I know that, that's literally eight letters. Actually the same as the code for the gym. Exactly <laughs> the same. Um, but yeah, anyway, we've just lit a fire. It's the afternoon, it's only about 1pm. Um, we're having a hot chocolate. We are, why not? Because we're just we're camp campers. Oh, we're camp campers, we love it. Um, there was something else I was going to say. What was it? Oh yeah. See, I'm annoyed because I do. I am quite good at lighting fires, but I'm not that good. And I started it, and Keegan was like, "Do you not know?" How? And it, without finishing the sentence, he went, "Do you not know how to?" Oh, you weren't in the scouts, were you? And I was like, "No, I was in the boys' brigade." I didn't get any badges in the scouts. I wasn't very good. I hated the boys' brigade. I begged mum and dad to quit. Luke and Ben loved it. It was basically you learnt how to march, how to salute, how to play brass instruments in a walking brass band. Like, it was the most boring thing ever. I begged to quit. Eventually, they let me quit. Scouts? I would have loved scouts, and I would have learnt useful skills, mum and dad. Like this, and instead you force me to try and learn trumpet and march and salute and at ease and da 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 da. You know what I did learn at Scouts, it was very good. What? They taught you how to make, they called it a paper fish. So you get a fillet of a, a fish, you wrap it in wet newspaper and you put it in the embers of a fire and when the paper starts to set on fire because it's dried out, that means the fish is cooked and then you take it out. That's so clever. There was also one called a chocolate. Useful. There was also one called a chocolate banana where you got a knife and you put it in the corners of the skin yeah. and you get like pieces of Cadbury's chocolate and you put it in again, you wrap it in tin foil, Ooh. shove it in the fire, it would yeah. melt and you get it out, open your banana and yeah. you'd be like, a I don't like banana, I didn't like that way, but. There was also a, a potato one that you did as well. Well, see, so you know what I know. Oh, spud eggs. You chop the top of a potato. You can't shut him up. You, you chop the top of a potato off and you yes. gouge out the inside of the My potato. Arm hurts. You crack an egg. Yes. You crack an egg. And you put the lid on and then you wrap it all in tinfoil and you stick it in the embers for however long. And it cooks the potato, but also hard boils the egg inside. See, that is useful. Oh, no. that's fun. All I know how to do is do a quick turn to attention. Which, when do I ever use that? You can anyway. use it in the bedroom. I know it. Okay, right, Keegan. Um, Mum and Dad have said since then, I think they were like, you definitely would have been more suited to Scouts. I don't know why we forced you to do Boys Brigade. But apparently when I was younger, I was begging to do Boys Brigade because Ben and Luke did it and I wanted to be like my older brothers. But then as soon as I got there, I was like, what is this? It's the perils of being the youngest, you see. Exactly, you're just trying to keep up with your older bros. This is the life, guys. A Tuesday afternoon. Got my favourite book. A hot chocolate. A roaring fire. Beautiful fields. Lovely. Keegan's actually doing a bit of work over there. He's doing a voiceover for a uh, 
<laughs> for an Instagram thing. Whereas I'm, I'm taking the time off. I haven't looked at my phone. Well, I haven't looked at, like I've looked at Keegan's phone for directions in the car earlier, but I haven't been on my social media, which I'm very pleased about. Ava's just laying outside with a stone in her mouth, like a weirdo. Well, it's the evening, guys. We've been reading. Not much else, to be honest. That's why I haven't filmed much. There's not been much that we've been doing. We played Scrabble. I wasn't very good at it, Keegan won. My battery, one of my batteries has already run out on my camera, so I've got half a battery on this one, uh, but I've brought it with me because we're going to a pub now, and I'm gonna see if I can steal some electricity from a local pub. Uh, we're meeting my friends Tom and Imo, so I will film a little bit with them if they're up for it. Right, so this is where we're coming, guys. This is a 47 minute walk. Let's go have some food. That's me. <laughs> right, I've gone for sausage and mash. What have you gone for? Chicken. Nice. And Tom and Imbo are back. Hello. Yay! <laughs> We've just worked out, it's been like eight months or something. Long time. I've missed you guys. Oh, thanks. Guys. For the camera. Correct. <laughs> for the camera. <laughs> what have you gone for? A nice burger. Yeah, nice burger, bit of cheese. Very nice. Emma, what have you got? Chicken and chips. Chicken and chips, same as Keegan. Awesome. Lovely. <laughs> well, guys, it is pitch black. It's dark. <laughs> it's there. dark. It's actually not as dark as it looks on the No, camera. normally my camera, is, it looks lighter, but yeah. for some reason... Anyway, it's 10 o'clock. We're walking home. It's about, yeah, 45 minute walk home. Oh, that was a bat. Yeah, had a lovely meal with Tom and Imo. It was lovely to catch up with them. And now I think we're going to head back and have was, another how fire. Was the food, Joe? Oh, the food was great. I had bangers and mash, as you saw, and it was divine. Was it I good? Was, yeah, it was really good. Mine was... Average. Oh no. Not bad though, not like not. It, it wasn't a gastro pub, let's put it that way. It was just a no. pub. I feel like their pies would have been good. Yeah, they were I felt out. they were very, they were old school. Yeah. So the chicken wrapped in bacon felt very <laughs> trying to be a gastro pub. Oh no. Um, and also, Southerners are so skinny with gravy. <laughs> Yeah, it's a northern thing. If you're not from England, you won't know this, but northerners love gravy. Oh, I love gravy. I mean, southerners love gravy, but northerners love gravy. Bathing it. <laughs> Bathing it. But yeah, it was a good meal overall. So we're going to walk back and we're going to do, we're going to get the fire going because yeah. why not? Why not? This is our holiday and we get a lion uh, tomorrow, which we didn't get. Sorry, it's going blurry. Uh, which we didn't get this morning because Keegan had a call at 7.30. Which we won't get on Thursday because Keegan's got to drive home at 5 o'clock in the morning. 5 a.m. because he's got a talk at 10 a.m. Yeah. So he needs to be home before 10 a.m. Anyway. Such is life. This is the worst I've ever filmed. <laughs> no one can see us. <laughs> I will pick this up when I'm home. <laughs> 